Patients often ask me about adopting a hypoallergenic dog or cat, but I have to tell them that there is no such thing as a truly hypoallergenic dog or cat. I'm Dr. Brian Martin. I'm an allergist, and today we want to talk about hypoallergenic pets. All dogs and cats produce proteins in their bodies that can cause allergies in humans. These proteins are found in the pet's saliva and skin. They're spread throughout the house because our pets lick their coat and then shed dander throughout the house. Are some breeds less allergenic than others? While some cats and dogs may be classified as low allergy, there's still a chance that they could cause an allergic reaction in some people. A pet may be more or less allergenic to someone depending on several factors, including the types of allergen the pet carries, the individual person's sensitivity to the various allergens, the pet's age, sex, and the amount of allergens that have accumulated in the person's environment. If you already have a pet in the home and find that you have new symptoms that you feel might be caused by your pet, there are some things that you can do. So first, the pet should be banned from the bedroom of the allergic person. It certainly should not be sleeping in the bed with somebody who is allergic. The pet should also not be allowed on the furniture, as the furniture will become a reservoir for the allergens. Bedding should be watched frequently to make sure that we're not sleeping in an area where allergens are present, and HEPA filtration can be helpful. Carpeting is another reservoir. So all carpet should be vacuumed frequently, and by that I mean at least twice a week. If you can, it would be best to replace carpeted floors with hard flooring. There is also some data that bathing a cat or a dog may reduce the quantity of allergen harbored by the pet. However, this must be done twice weekly to be efficacious and appears to be more effective with dogs than with cats. Stay tuned to PetMD for updates on the latest research. I'm Dr. Brian Martin. Thanks for watching.